In this video, I want to go over some basic number skills that uh, students should be knowing uh, when, it, when they're doing number problems. So let's look at the first question. One eighth of 1.72 meters. So basically the question is, what is one eighth of 1.72 meters? So let me convert this into centimeters. So that is 172 centimeters. You can write this in meters. So basically what you have to do is, this is 172 divided by 8. So let me, let me get my calculator. Okay, so this is my calculator. So 172 divided by 8 which is 21.5 centimeters. So always remember to write the right answer with the unit if the unit is given. So 1 eighth of 172 centimeters is 21.5 centimeters. The next question is 3 quarters of 24.58. So what I'm going to do is, first I'll find 1 quarter and then multiply by 3. So how would you find 1 quarter? Well, you have to divide by 4. So 25.58 divided by 4 gives you a quarter. So this is a quarter. Okay, and then if you multiply what whatever that is by 3, you're going to get 3 quarters. So you can do this on a calculator. So again, 24.58 uh, divided by 4, that's a quarter equal. So this is a quarter and you're times in it by 3. So it's 18.435 centimeter. So if you want, so let me write first like this, 18.435 centimeter. So it's good to write it in, if it is in centimeters, to write in 2 dp. So you have to round it to two decimal places. I want to round it to two decimal places. So you have to look at the third decimal number. So if you round if you want to round it to two decimal places it is 18.44 centimeters and it's a good practice to write what you are rounding to. So this is rounding to two decimal places. The next question 39.5 percent of 320. So well how would you do this on a calculator? So this is 39 out of 100. This means this is 39.5 out of 100. That's what it means. Percent is out of 100. So if you want to do this on a calculator, so 39.5 divided by 100, basically that is giving you 1%. Sorry, so this is 39.5% times it by 320. Sorry, it's not giving you 1%. So this is the meaning of 39%. Off means you have to multiply. So again, get me calculator. So 39.5 divided by 100. So if you know to write as a decimal, you can do in one step, which is 0 0.395 times 390. Or 0 0.395 is out of 1. What I said was right in a sense. So it's out of 1, it is 0 0.395. So out of 320, it will be 0 0.395 times 320, which is 126.4 kgs. 120, what was the number? 126.4 kg. 126.4 kgs. Okay, let's move on. You want to find one third of 65.18. So basically the same thing. 65.18 centimeters divided by 3. Okay, so this is 65.18 divided by 3. Yes, uh, that's, this is, let's round it to 2 dp, 21.7. If you round it to 2 dp, it is 21.73 centimeters. 21 point, am I right? Yeah, because you're looking at the third decimal number, which is 6. If it is 5 or more, you have to round up the place that you want to round up. So I'm looking at the second decimal place. To round up 
up to the second decimal place, you have to look at the third decimal place, and if that number is 5 or more, you have to round up. If it is less than 4, you have to keep it as it is. So it is 21.73 centimeters. Okay, next question is interesting. So what they're saying is 70% of something is given to be 50.24. So let's use a bit of proportion. So if 70% is 50.25, how much would be 1%? Well, that would be 50.25 divided by 70. Okay? And whatever that number is, I don't want to. So if that is the case, what will be 100%? Sorry, 100%. 100% so the, from year to year, you have to this pick. You have to divide by 70. So thinking logically, 70 divided by 70 is one. So you did the same thing to this. So you're dividing by 70. So use the same logic. From one to get to 100, what would you do? Would you divide or multiply? Well, you can multiply by 100. That's easy. So you do the same thing here. Whatever this number is, times it by 100. So in maths, you can do most of the questions with just use your common sense or logic. So 50.25 divided by 70, which is 1%, times it by 100. Okay, so let's do it. So cancel 50.25 divided by 70, which is this number, and you times it by 100. which is 71.785 so that is 71.79 so this is 71.79 of course this is again in 2 dp this answer was also in 2 dp two decimal places okay let me finish off with this increasing something by something by 35 percent gave 175 so let's use proportion so what is when increasing something by 35 percent 100 so let's understand so when increasing something by suppose hundred dollars you're increasing by say 35 percent so let me write plus 35 hundred dollars is going to become one thirty five dollars does that make sense okay that means one dollar use the same proportion if you're increasing by thirty five percent it's going to become one dollar thirty five or one point three five okay so the same logic here so now they're saying is this is what it means one dollar would become one dollar thirty five so now what they're saying is if something has been increased by 35%, it has become 175. So you want to go other way. You want to go from year to year. So if you want to go from year to year, you have you should have this is becoming this is you're multiplying by 1.35. Or basically you can understand if you multiply 1 by 1.35, you're going to get 1.35. So if you're going this way, you have to divide by 1.35. So 175 divided by 1.35 would give you this answer. Okay? Okay, so let me show you. 1 times 1.35. 1 times 1.35 gives you 1.35. So if you want to go from year to year, you have to go 175 divided by 1.35 obviously the answer that you're going to get should be less than 175 so it's 126.63 126.63 centimeters of course which is in 2 dp when you're increasing by 35 percent it becomes 135 you can check your answer by going from year to year so 
let's understand if you go from year to year if you multiply by 1.35 or you find 35 percent of 126.63 centimeters and add that thing to this that should give you 175 